This is the story of the little, the little snow girl, the little daughter of the snow. <coughs> Once there was an elderly couple, uh, not rich, not poor, who lived at the edge of the forest. But they had no children, and they, their life, they were sad because they wanted a child so much. And often they would look out the window, look out of their window, and see, watch the other children playing. I guess in a village, though the story doesn't say so. Uh, and they were so sad that they had no child themselves. During the winter, I think this is a Russian story, maybe Finland, uh, very northern. Uh, during the winter, uh, one day it had snowed, and the old man said suddenly, Come, let's go outside, to his wife, let's go outside and make a snow girl. And maybe the snow girl will become real. Uh, and the wife said, okay, okay, let's try, maybe. So all day long they worked on making a snow girl, and the girl was beautiful, uh, with red lips and uh, little white teeth showing and, uh, uh, and so forth. At the end of the day, uh, the couple went inside, and then during the night, uh, maybe toward the morning the next day, uh, suddenly they heard sounds out there and the snow girl was real. She was beautiful, uh, charming, she laughed and sang and danced all the time. They invited the girl in, she came in, but she sang songs, several songs in the story. And the first song is, uh, I'm the daughter of the snow, I'm the snow girl, as long as you love me well I will stay. But if you love me little, I will melt and go. They brought her in. They wanted to, her to sit by the fire. They wanted her to be warm. They feared that she would be cold. They misunderstood, really, because the girl said that there was no blood in her veins, only cold ice water. But the couple couldn't quite believe that. So they wanted her to sit by the fire, by the stove, uh, he, the man, bought a fur coat for her and little red boots. The girl wore these gladly enough, but uh, the girl loved to play outside. Uh, and so she would play outside all night and all day even. At the end of the night in the morning, she would come in for breakfast. But her breakfast was ice, crushed ice. And that's all she would eat. Uh, then she would go back out and play. Now, the other children loved her. Uh, where she was, there was laughter, and everyone was happy. Um, the couple was happy, the children were happy, everyone was happy. But then things started to go a little bad, and I think badly. And that's perhaps the point of the story. Um, one day, the children went out deep into the woods, and too deep, and finally they were frightened. And so they hold, held hands and they left. The little girl stayed, went further into the forest, and then she was lost. So she climbed a tree, tried to see the other children, tried to see the village. She could not see the children or the village. So then she was crying, and a big bear came by, down below, of course. What's wrong, uh, snow girl? Uh, I'm lost. Well, come down, and I will take you back home. No, I'm afraid of you, Big Bear. Uh, I don't dare. Please, I'll wait for someone else. A while later, a wolf came along. What's wrong, little snow girl? I'm lost. The other children have left me, and I don't know how I can go back home. Come, I will take you back home, the wolf said. But she said, no, I don't trust you, I'm afraid of you, Some, someone else. Then a red fox came along. Same story. But she said, okay, I will trust you, fox, because I'm not so afraid of you. So she went down the tree, and the fox took her home, took her to the village and took her home. Uh, the old couple were so sad, they were crying. But when they saw the girl, of course, they were happy, so happy. And the other children were happy too. Now, uh, then the fox said, um, oh, and the girl said, 
I think we should be grateful to the fox for saving me. Yes, yes. Um, and the fox said, yes, and I'm hungry. So the woman brought the fox a piece of bread. Uh, but the fox said, I'm not really interested in bread. Give me a plump chicken or a hen, a plump hen. Uh, okay, you're right. But then the old man and the old woman spoke together silently and said, I don't think we have to give, give the fox a hen, do we? That's too much. So they decided to play a trick on the fox. And they brought out two bags. In the one bag was a hen. In the other bag was their fiercest dog. A fierce dog. The fox opened the one bag, out fluttered the hen, and flew up into a tree. Then the fierce dog came out of the other bag and looked at the fox with his fierce eyes, and the fox was terrified and ran away. And so the couple said to each other, good idea, that was a good idea. Now we have our little girl, and we still have our plump hen. Just then, um, the girl sang another song, <clears throat> and her song was, I'm going to go away now, uh, because it turns out that you love the hen more than you love me. Uh, so, I will go. During the night she played outside as usual. Uh, the man looked and looked, uh, got up and looked at her, but uh, gradually he fell asleep, too tired, and when he woke, when they got up in the morning, they found inside the a puddle of water and the fur coat and the red boots. The little girl was gone, had melted. And uh, outside they hear in the air the same song again, the third or fourth song in, in the story. And it's once again a little different, uh, some changes, but the point is the same. You loved the plump hen more than you loved me. You didn't really love me very much at all, so I'm gone. She returned to her father, who was snow, and her mother, frost, near in the dark northern skies, uh, and they were happy that she had returned. Um, and... The story is certainly an interesting story uh, because human greed, human gratitude, that's what it's about. Human beings aren't capable of much gratitude. I think that's maybe the point. And it's, I think it's true. Uh, me too. We are not capable of much gratitude. Uh, and in the process of even of saying thank you, thank you, thank you for some something good that is done to us, we're already thinking of reasons why not to be thankful. Am I exaggerating? Maybe I don't owe this person as much gratitude as I seem to owe. If that's the point of the story, and I think it is, good story. The Snow Girl Number one, where did the old couple live? Number two, why was the couple sad? Number three, how did the couple get a child? Number four, what did the snow girl do all day? Number five, what did the snow girl eat? Number six, why did the snow girl need the fox's help? Number seven, what other animals tried to help the little girl? Number eight, why did the old couple trick the fox? Number nine. What did the snow girl do when the old couple tricked the fox? Number ten. What does this story tell us about people? What lesson can you learn?